I'm kind of one of those uh, people that uh, stepped away from the normal work world, call it a whatever you want to call it. I just couldn't do it anymore. Uh, it was affecting my health. Uh, my wife and I kind of put ourselves in a position to uh, allow me to find my creative self, um, create things from basically junk and trash and things that are uh, other people just don't want. Uh, so I found a lot of, there's still a lot of life, a lot of use left in those objects. Um, you know, the old saying, they don't make it like they used to, and they don't. Things are mass produced uh, and plastic and nothing, you know, that's creating problems uh, <laughs> worldwide as we know now. So uh, the objects I uh, look for typically uh, are metal, uh, different metals, and uh, I find you know, find a way to use them to uh, bring life to the piece and get a reaction from my uh, viewer. Um, they're a bit cartoonish, uh, animated. Um, they uh, one of my goals is to take those ordinary pieces that you may have in your cupboard at home and transform them to a point where you don't recognize what they were. You see them as something totally new. I was the youngest of four, uh, so I was kind of used to having hand-me-downs when I was a kid. Uh, and so things, when I see things that have a lot of use or there's something interesting about it, you know, sometimes it's like a bird and a shiny object. You don't quite know why, you just like it. And, so I have uh, stumbled into a lot of things like that. And as you might see in my space, you know, I've gathered it, uh, try to organize it in some way uh, to where I can find it again when I'm ready to uh, create with it. It's a lot of fun because uh, I think the pieces I create uh, bring a new life. They're given a second chance after I've finished with them. Uh, and that's what people typically uh, see the work and they say, oh, I've got these, those same objects in my, uh, in my basement stored away. They were my aunts or my grandfather's or whatever. And so I take those, bring them to life, then suddenly you have those memories of your parents, your grandparents, whoever they may have belonged to, and the story to tell, and that things can change things can uh, go on and that we should uh, really work to, to keep, keep those memories alive. And I think that's some of what I've learned about Goodwill, um, people that need a second chance because of the cards they were dealt uh, or the choices they made or some combinations of those things. They're trying to turn it around. Here's an opportunity. I think it parallels uh, the pieces quite quite close.